Welcome to eLearning Quick Tip number 43. In it I'll be talking about recording valid engagement and results into the Blackboard Learn Grade Centre. And I'll be putting particular emphasis on the recording of engagement because it's an area I find there's still some confusion. In doing so I'll be relating this back to fact sheet 14a which I'll include with the recording. 14a covers our responsibilities around engagement and results collection and shows us techniques to record those into the Grade Centre and includes in it this handy little flowchart that shows the significant events and where you need to involve yourself and start entering data into the Grade Centre. The first of these events happens within three weeks of the unit's start date. It relates to engagement and it relates to two events, the recording of the engagement date for those students who have engaged and the recording of NEN results for those students who have not. So let me now show you procedurally what this means. Here I am, I'm in the uh, Blackboard Grade Centre. Uh, I'm on the full Grade Centre and just for now I'll collapse this left menu out of view so I've got a bit more screen to work with. You can see my students listed here in a couple of important columns. They have titles like Res, Mark, First, Last, Engage Hours. So the situation we're looking at now is that initial recording of engagement. It's three weeks into the program and I need to record the fact that my students have engaged and I need to do this for each and every one of my students. And I do so by entering a date. I, you'll note that I'm using a format which is day day, month month, year year, year year. So 16th of the 9th 2012. Now what I often find is I'll need to put that same date in for many of my students. So what I can do is to copy it, Control C, and now simply paste, Control V, that same date into subsequent students. Now perhaps it is that one of my students has never engaged, and I need to now result them to indicate that. What I do in this instance is to put in a value of NEN, never engaged. Now in doing so I've got to be sure indeed that, that no engagement has happened and so consequently I would leave these remaining fields blank. If indeed they'd engaged, if there was a first engagement date, that NEN result would be invalid. So when you're recording an NEN you record the NEN result and no other information and that's really important. Okay so I've progressed through and recorded all of my engagement dates. The next major key event is a really a progressive one that happens throughout this unit's delivery and it's monitoring that your students continue to engage in this unit. You have columns in your engagement assessment register for this but when you find a student that has stopped engaging you need to then uh, involve yourself first of all to um, get in contact with that student, instigate the student at risk procedure um, and hopefully regain them in this unit but if not it's the time now that you have to record an SEN result stopped engaging. So let me show you how we do that. We're back in the Blackboard Grade Centre. I imagine that this student here has ceased engaging. What I need to do is to record a result of SEN for them. I then with SEN results also need to record the last date of their involvement in the unit, their engagement, sorry. And I also need to include the engaged hours and this is critical because this is the proportion of the hours that will be paid for. Uh, it needs to of course be a value less than the total hours for that unit because you can't claim for more than that. And it's really the proportion of dollars that we will get as a result of that SEN. So those three features are a mandatory requirement of an SEN result. And then towards the end of the unit it's time to record our final academic result. They can be NU or PU results in an ungraded fashion or HD, P etc in a graded fashion and the resulting of those is fairly simple. I'll give a 
uh, ungraded example first simply by entering a value of PU into the result column or if it were a graded unit it might be a result of HD and a corresponding letter grade of 93. Of course when you go to graded you need to ensure that that the numeric value is it within range of the letter grade value that those things match up for that to be a valid grade. Once those results are in Grade Center and they're accurate, they can then be transferred by the Stellar Administrator up to ASCOL and become part of the formal grades for that unit. So I hope that clarifies things. Feel free to call me to discuss and also use Fact Sheet uh, 14A as a reference point in your grades collection so that you can ensure that the grades that you enter are valid and accurate.